Head to the official Microsoft page for downloading Windows. Link in the description. When you take it from me I'll make sure that you fall upon the floor Down to your knees I'm not bad enough. Click the Download Now button. This will likely take 15 minutes or so, depending on your internet speed. I'm not asking for a miracle Just you and me Now it's time to download our scripts. Head to the Tiny11 Builder GitHub page and click the code button in the top right corner. Next click download zip and unzip that download. Now we need to configure your system to allow PowerScript to make administration changes. Open PowerShell as an administrator, which you can do by searching for PowerShell in the Start menu and then clicking the Run as Administrator in the right sidebar. Type this exact command and hit Enter. You will be warned about the security implications of this. Confirm that you know what you're doing and are allowing the change. You can always undo the change later by running this command. Right-click the Windows 11 file and click Mount. This will open the ISO file as a virtual CD, which you can confirm by looking for it in Windows Explorer. Once you've confirmed that the disk is mounted, you can run the Tiny11 script, which was in the zip file you unzipped earlier. Right-click the file tiny11maker.ps1 and click Run with PowerShell. You will be asked for the drive letter of your virtual drive, which you can find in Windows Explorer under My Computer. Look for a DVD drive that wasn't there before. You only need to type the letter and hit Enter. After that, the script will ask you which version of Windows you want to make a disk for. After that, the script will do its thing, which might take a while.
When the process is done, you will see a message letting you know. There will be a brand new ISO file in the scripts directory. However you install Windows from this ISO, know that it will be completely clean. You will not be prompted to create a Microsoft account, or even to sign in using one, and there will be no Microsoft services other than what you need in order to use the operating system. Thank you.